thought it'd be easiest to do this before we box them up. It was, it was kind of a, didn't think of it till later, but there's the 4620 Collector's Edition. Another 4320 Collector Edition. I've got the 4020 back here. Is it a front wheel assist? Yeah. And it's got a little DVD you can watch in there. It's kind of cool. I opened it up just to watch the DVD. But it's got, I don't know, some couple Hagee sprayers. There's a uh, the Restoration 4020. 5020s, there's a, they're, they look the same, but there's a couple versions. Is this a green and yellow box? That's not a bad box, got a little staining. See in the axle there, I see that angled brace. See if I can get some light on it, there we go. You see the tie rods and then that brace back there. That's an open axle brace with the, uh, I don't know what you call it for front wheels, but this one here has got push nuts on the front wheel. See that? And if we see that axle brace, it's all solid now. The first ones they built didn't have an axle brace at all. And kids were starting to break their tractors. You know, it wasn't built heavy enough for the kids. So then they put that open axle brace in it here. And then later on they put on, they just made it solid. So that's, I mean, you could have bought that one in the 80s, early 90s. Yeah, it was one of the longest running tractors that, that Ertl made was the 5020. Ah. Uh, yeah, the 4020 with loader and chains, that's kind of a hard one to find. Here's another 4020. Like I said, when they make a new tooling, they make every um, configuration of it possible. There's one just plain. So then they come over here and then they make one with uh, a ROPS narrow front. Here's a 4620. There's a 4960. They made a couple different ones of this. Um, they also had one that had the had a, the number 4960 on the box. So if you wanted to get variations, this one does not have that. Then they thought, well, you know, we got all these extra 4960 parts laying around. Let's make another one. We'll call it a 4760. 4955, 4650, 4850. Here's a 4455, another one where they, you know, had this tractor. Probably the same casting of the 4450 that you've seen earlier, but they, let's just change the decal on it. Put some different tires on the front. And uh, I always liked the 4255 or the 4455. I always wanted one when I was a kid and never got one. Now I do, and now I'm selling it, so. The 6030, one of them. Here, this is a cool toy. I only opened it once to look at it. It's a team of horses with a with a dump rake in the back that's pretty breakable. I don't think I'm selling that. That's one of the bailers I had when I was a kid. I'm not gonna sell that. 4640, the dealer edition. And that's one's kind of dusty, these two. I gotta clean them up a little bit. And the 4640 Collector's Edition, I think the only difference is they put duels on the one. Um, 630 barge wagon set, I'll probably keep that. Then we got the 520, 620 set. Down below here, we've got a 5060 set. It's dark, I know. 4070 set. Uh, 728, 20 set. And a 520, 620 set, a 320, 420 set, a 330, is that what it is? 430 set, and then just a regular 620 and a 420 crawler with a ripper and a blade. Is that it? I think so. That's that's those. Oh, yeah, did I tell you about the, here's a 200th birthday of John Deere, another one. I, there's, they made four of them. This one's the 4020. 83.20 Farm Show from 03. Here's a box over here. What do we got? 
uh, one of them old yellow top Titan combines, uh, 7710. I believe that's a two wheel drive. Loader backhoe. Here's another, if you like them yellow and green boxes, here's another nice crisp one. Go along with that uh, mower conditioner really well. The utility in the barge box. That's a nice, nice box. I'll get it in there before I wreck something, but yeah. Loader back hole and uh, one of them 30 second scale, like a 3150 or something. 4450 with the balloon fronts and uh, duels. What I mean by balloon fronts is they had a little bit wider tire than some of them. This is the same tire that would be on a 5020. Uh, a little 116 scale pedal tractor. We got the 9200 with narrow triples. It's a, I don't know, a little bit tougher to find. Not terrible though. Got the 7920, an 8420, an 8520 with the triples and the duels in the front, and then a 9420 ah, four wheel drive. Up top here, we've got all of the Precisions, um, Precision series, the, f the first the first one. So, AA with Cultivator 4020 Neural Front, 4020 Power Shift, the 4000, the Moldboard Plow, a uh, 70 back there, a 720 Diesel, the B, the 214, Baylor. We'll get move some of this stuff. 214 T Baylor. There's a pocket knife I didn't know I had. Some extra parts. The 730, the 4020 with the picker seems to be kind of a desirable one nowadays. The 3010, that 8400. They made a couple variations of that 8400. Uh, the Rio 8400, they started making them in about 90, what, 94 or 5 or something? And they had a different decal on the later ones. So there was two variations of that one that had the updated decal in the earlier one. Only difference. But that's kind of an expensive little toy there. People seem to like to buy that one. This is a different precision series, but it's a BWH 40. The Waterloo Boy is back to the original precision. 720 with a loader and blade, a barge, or a hay wagon. I suppose they needed something to pull behind the baler, just like this picker. They needed something to put behind the picker, so they put that on there. It's kind of a neat wagon, but... The 4440 is kind of gaining some traction nowadays. I never liked this tractor because they never had any axles coming out of the back. What you see on the picture is exactly how it looks. Whereas if you look at the 4020, they had a stub axle coming out. And they made this one after. It's like they rushed on this one. So that was disappointing. Uh, the 630, we had one of those. A real one. The 8020 seems to be a little more... Uh, desirable model and then the 70 standard and a b they made a couple b's didn't they there's another b up there then the last one in the series they made 25 this one's dusty we gotta clean it up they made the uh 50 10. this is a 4430 it's kind of one of the more desirable ones i guess the first one 620 high crop but here's a 2510 with a sickle bar, belly mount sickle bar, 4020 standard, 3020 with the loader, a G, the 420, and like the 620 dunk. And those are all precision key. I'm going to sell my spray coops, the 7650, the 3630, those are going to be offered. Here's a 4850, the New Orleans, this is a... Uh, when they introduced them back in 82. I don't know if you could read that casting on the frame rail there. Let me turn it. 
it says New Orleans July 82 so when they come out with the new 50 series this is they made a commemorative tracker for it which isn't there's nothing different about it compared to the 8300 pretty nice these are desirable these highway 61 grain trucks I've had them out they've had them out of the box but there they are they're too cool not to at least take out once so those will both be offered that is another 4450 is that different than the one that I got here well that looks no oh, that's different it's in a different box but there's a 4450 with a balloon front I guess this one over here was the 4440 so that's different 4455 will be offered uh, the two combines over there, I got a 55 and a 45 Prestige. They'll be offered. That TLS is not going. Uh, here's a 5020. This is a Precision 5020. But it's not in any of the series. And I suppose I better hang on to the 9500 since I have a real one. Better hang on to that. But there's the 55. That's the more desirable of the two combines that they made. And the 45. And I'm up in the air about this one yet. That's pretty, uh, pretty uh, nice crisp box and everything. That's going to be a hard one to get your hands on. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it from me or not. Well, I'm still up in the air on that one, but that's a pretty good set. We've got the spec cast. Is this a spec cast model also? Who made this one? I don't remember. But that's the 314 New Idea Sheller. I also have the Corn Husker over here. I'll show you that. I got a bunch of grinder mixers to sell. There's the 3020 with a grinder. I don't know if I should sell that one. That was pretty cool. They're all cool. There's the uh, one with the yellow auger. There's the one in the green white box. And then you get over here, this is a farmhand uh, grinder. That one's kind of pretty hard to find, a farmhand grinder. Then we've got the 6500 sprayers. I got uh, two wide fronts and a narrow front. This is a wide front 6500, narrow front, wide front over there. I'm gonna sell one of the wide fronts, keep the other two, so. Those are really cool, you ever had, they're 1 16th scale, they're pretty darn awesome. Did they make them in Nebraska? KZ Co? Maybe not. It says Liberty Spec Cast. I don't know why I want to say Nebraska, but they are they are neat. You have to look up Casey Co. They made other things. I don't remember what they were, but Booms unfold. They're pretty sweet little little rig. All right, and then here's the uh, corn husker to go along with that. Corn shelter two row. This is a 311. I think we had like a three something else. It's a little shaped a little bit different than what we had. But um or what we have. We got a 327 or something like that. So I think this is a little earlier model. But anyway, the story on this one is I bought this from Boston Implement. And uh are they in Iowa? They always had an ad in the magazine. And they mailed it to me, and I got it. I opened it up, and the main axle, which is right behind there, like right in there, was busted, broken in half. And so I uh, called them up or sent them a letter or something. I don't know what I did. I said, hey, you sent me this. It's busted. I don't want it. Get me a different one. I'm going to send it back. And uh, I don't know what they said, but I ended up sending it back. And they sent me a different one, and they sent me a letter that says, uh, "Yeah, we think we think you broke it when you opened it, but we can't be sure. So here's your replacement." And I was like, "You buttheads! I didn't break that. You think I'm a retard?" So that was the last time I bought anything from Boston Implement. They made me mad, and I've never done business with them again, and refused to. So, yeah. Customer's always right, right? Not in that case. They accused me of trying to pull a fast one on them. So, 
they made me mad. So the end of them. All right, moving on. Here's another precision. This is an international 1466. Um, I've had this one out and looked at it. It's a pretty cool tractor. The door is open. It's got individual front weights, I think. Cast for it, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't. I thought it had weights. It doesn't have weights in the picture. Uh, I used to live in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I brought it home in a stock trailer. Brought all my toys home in a stock trailer. And this one was rubbing on something, and so the box has got a little, little rash on it there. And the unique thing about this one is, is, you know, I showed you them coins that they come with, the medallions. The medallion is spelled International Harvest Store with an O. O-R. This is International Harvester, H-A-R-V-E-S-T-E-R. -E -E the medallion is O-R. So it's misspelled. And I've been trying to find how many are misspelled like that. And... Apparently nobody reads them because everybody thinks nobody nobody uh, nobody has mentioned anything about it. So maybe that's a one and only one there with the misspelled medallion. Okay, well today's your lucky day. I went ahead and opened it up for you. There's the collector book that it comes with, and here's the tractor. This is cool when it's got an opening rain cap, and it does come with individual weights. And then I'll show you the medallion. Here's the medallion. How do you spell harvester? H-A-R-V-E-S-T-O-R. -E Can you read that? International Harvest Store. So, I've asked people, I'm like, is yours misspelled or... Nobody reads them. They're just like, oh, there it is. They Apparently their eyes are too bad. They can't tell if they're smelled or not. But anyway, there's an error. So anybody else got one that's misspelled, go check. Find out. Let me know how many, how common that is. Here's a nice 6600 combine. They made several versions of this. This is one of the later ones. It's got the plastic gear ground drive gear right here see this gear that's what that's what drives the reel it's got a plastic reel plastic gear teeth but yeah that's a cool combine i don't know if i could sell that or not that's really nice it's probably not the most perfect box but it is pretty good i was going to mention that a with the cultivator the box looks different than the rest oops see how that one's nice you can see it really well well, that one's still in the original tissue paper from uh, when it was shipped. I suppose they shipped four or six to a case, and then they, they wrap them in tissue paper to protect the finish on the box. And so that one still has the tissue paper on it from when it was shipped, so that's why that one looks different. Here's another uh, toy farmer tractor. This is the 4250 from 82. So, yeah, that's kind of a desirable one one of the early toy farmers well, it's all in plastic there but it's got that medallion on the front that you can't read of course but that's still smells brand new in there you can smell the rubber tires the box has got some staining and it would have been stapled shut but it's been open and it was open when I got it. I didn't get it new, of course. But there that's kind of a kind of a better one. But uh four-wheel drive duels with the fenders. And then one that I really like that I may not get rid of is the 8200 because it's the two-wheel drive with the goofy front wheels. I always liked that tractor. So that one may not get sold. I've got a big giant uh, pedal tractor here. This is the, a 4430 pedal tractor. I'll get it out and show you later, but this is a gold 4430. Anyway, this is a mistake that I bought. <laughs> this is a cool tractor though. 
one of a thousand units produced. 2019 Wisconsin Farm Technology Days this is an Oliver 1600. Let's get it out and I'll show you. It's pretty neat. Here it is, Oliver 1600 with a with a picker. Oh, a 74H picker. And it's missing. I can see a part in here. If we get it, there it is. Right in the center of the screen down there, there's a little paddle looking thing. It goes in right there. There's another paddle looking thing. It goes on the other side there for the other row. But it's in there. I think all you got to do is just put it back in place. It'll be fine. It just fell out. But there it is. This is a mistake I bought. I thought I was buy buying a silage cutter. And turns out it was an Oliver. So that's a little... That's a little disappointing for me, but yeah, it's really cool tractor. Somebody will love it. All right, next. Okay, this one's pretty cool. This is, uh, if you were to demo one of the 2700 disc rippers, and then 20 years ago, 2003, and you filled out your little card or whatever and send it in, they would send you this as a thank you. This one was sent to Doug DeVries. You can't hardly read it, but... Doug DeVries, here is a limited edition gift for you, courtesy of John Deere in Moline. I always like the building on it for a nice Morton building up front. But look inside. Isn't that cool? I think the box is cool. And you could also, if you demoed a, a tractor, let's see, a 70, 20, 80, 20, or 90, 20 series tractor, you could... You, they'd give you one of them tractors too. So there's a whole bunch of here you can read and you can even win a gator. But yeah, so anyway, that's what this was. This Some dude demoed it and they gave him this. I don't know, did you take it out? Oh yeah, look. There it is all attached yet, never been off of that. That's pretty cool. Thought maybe there'd be some more paperwork underneath it or something, but. So yeah, I hate using the word rare, but this one isn't very common. I've seen maybe four of them, three or four of them. You, they don't they don't turn up too often. I got a buddy that's got one, I believe, and I know this one. And um, where I would find another one, it might take me a year or so to track one down. I don't know, but yeah. So this guy's name was Doug Devries. These things, I mean, they didn't have these things around here. They aren't a that kind of tillage isn't done around here. Doug DeVries, D-O-U-G-D-E-V-R-I-E-S, Doug DeVries. I wonder if anybody knows who that guy is. This was his, so I have it now. I wonder if it come from down around uh, Columbus, somewhere around the Platte River area. I mean, that's where my wife got it. So she picked it up for me one day. I was like, where'd you get this? Oh, I found this. I was like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> So yeah, smoking, smoking deal on this. You guys need one? I got one. It's gonna be for sale. So later.